Hey, it's episode 11 of Living in the Mitten. It's hard to believe that a year ago, we started this project of this pole barn house. We were able to get the driveway going, and then we started the shell of the pole barn house in February, around the 15th. And so lately, we were able to get the kitchen cabinets installed. My brother helped me with that. We were able to get some light fixtures going. So a lot of things have been accomplished. We had some painting going. And then the other direction behind me, we were able to get that wall shiplapped. Now there has been some downsides. Um, one would be that we got the mini splits installed and the inverter is outside and it's connected to the building and you can hear it making noise. So just, I would recommend, now eventually we will do this, but right now we're not gonna worry about it. We just wanna get things inspected and moved through. Um, but I would recommend not connecting your inverter to your building. It just makes some rattling noises and um, some humming um, with the vibrations. So. I read some forums later on of don't connect it to your building because you have the chance of that happening. Ours is a little big. So yeah, just word of warning, do not connect your inverter to your house. I did mess up with some electrical over here and I'm still working on getting those things figured out. So those are a couple hiccups in the process. So just a couple of my warnings that I have for you. But yeah, kitchen cabinets look good. We got that from Williams Kitchen and Bath in Lansing, Michigan. And then the lights, I think we got those from Amazon or Wayfair or something. I don't remember the wife picked those out. Um, and then the countertops we got from Williams Kitchen Bath as well. I will kind of take you around, let you guys check it out and see what we've accomplished so far. The color, you won't be able to really tell in the pictures, but we did paint the walls, a lot of them at least. And the main color throughout the house is a shiplap color and it's from Magnolia. And we get that from Ace here in Lansing, Michigan. So I'll flip the camera around and kind of give you a tour of what we've accomplished so far in our pole barn house. So there's our fireplace. And then the first thing we have here is our Fujitsu mini split. That is a 10,000. We have another 10,000 upstairs and a 7,000 um, in our bedroom. We're gonna go with some walnut shelving over here, and then we're gonna go with a walnut island. That's about another month out for the countertop for the island. And we were supposed to get our appliances as well. We ordered those on Black Friday from Home Depot, and they're supposed to come on Saturday, but they're not gonna come for about another month. So we'll get those shortly. And I'll flip the camera around in a second and show you the shiplap wall that we have going on. So here's the south wall in our house. And my brother helped me with that as well. Get all the shiplap. We got the shiplap from Lowe's. Turned out pretty good. We still have to paint it. I do have an electro issue on that wall, so. That is a hiccup that I'm gonna have to figure out. But you know, there's always ups and downs in the whole process and this is just one of them. And I'm sure we'll make it through it. And then I will take you into the bathroom eventually and show you that as well. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Lowe's, got the shiplap from. We also have shiplap in the bathroom. And we got the upstairs painted. I'll flip the camera around and show you that. Here's a slight view from upstairs. There is the shiplap wall on the south. And so we did decide that we're actually going to go with some wood on the ceiling instead of metal in that area that you can see. And then upstairs, the color is shiplap, like I may have said before. And we got that from Magnolia Ace Hardware locally. And so a disclaimer is we are not designers and we are not builders, but yes, we did design this and we did build this majority of it ourselves. We had somebody take care of the mini splits and install that fireplace. We did someone did the mudding and somebody hooked up the boiler, which later on I'll show you what that looks like again. About a month ago, I got in an accident and it was a difficult accident. Um, the other person passed away and so before I tell you a little bit more about it I want to paint this picture that you know I'm a person of faith and something that I speak over my life on a daily basis for the last couple years 
is that the Lord surrounds the light, the righteous with favor like a shield. And I believe that's from Psalms 512. And so I just thank the Lord for his favor that surrounds me like a shield. And in this illustration here, I got in this car accident and a person of faith, I see that God surrounded me favor, with favor like a shield. Now, with that being said, I am thankful for that favor that surrounded me like a shield. I was completely well. I was protected. Um, it was good for me, and I am thankful for that. Um, but the gentleman that passed away, it, it was very difficult. It grieved me to see a gentleman pass away and that I was not able to help him. Even though it might have been his fault 100%, it still grieved me that this gentleman passed away and there was nothing I could do to help him. Um, that grieved me. That was difficult. And so now when you think about God, God is love. If that grieved me, you better believe that it grieved God way more than it grieved me even, that he passed away. And so it grieves God when we have sin in our lives, when we make mistakes, and when we die, and we have pain, and we have hurts. Those things grieve God 100%, just like it grieved me to see this guy pass away. God is love. It grieves him when we pass away, when things come against us. And that's why he sent his son to die for our sins, so that we could have life and have life more abundantly, and we could be in a relationship with him. Because it grieves God when people die, when people are hurt, and when people are in pain. Way more than it grieves me. And I'm telling you, it grieved me. It hurt me to see this gentleman pass away, even though it was his fault, yes, it still grieved me, it still sucked. And better believe it, it grieves God way more than it grieves me. So much so, he sent his son to die for his sins so that we could have life and get life more abundantly. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God came to that we may have life and have it abundantly. Is there still struggles? Is there still pains? Yes, but we put our eyes on Christ. He is the author and the finisher of our faith, and we know he will work things out for us as we trust in him. And he did this. He sent his son so that we may not have died, but we may have life and life more abundantly. Even if something happens and we were to die, we get to spend eternity with him. And so that's the good news. It grieves him when he sees us with pain, when there's death, just like it grieved me. So if you're going through something, if you have a struggle, know that it grieves God and that he's there, he is with you, and he's not against you. He is for you. He loves you. He cares about you. He did not come to bring pain, just like I said. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Now, we may play part in that. We might make mistakes, but that is not of God. That is not the character of God. God came that we may have life and have it more abundantly, and that's why Jesus died for us. Is there still struggles? Yes. But we can have hope, we can have peace, we can have joy, and we can have confidence knowing that God is for us. I hope that brings some people some joy and some peace with whatever might be going on in life, because I have struggles. Somebody ran into me, and he passed away. That's a struggle. I got an outlet over there that it's cutting off circuit. Something's not working. That's a struggle. They're different levels, but God's in the midst of them all, and he came so that we could have life and have it abundantly. He doesn't want to see the negative in our lives. He loves us. He is for us. He's not the author of those. He is the author of our faith. He is the author of our hope. He is the author of our love. Have peace. Have joy in that. And we'll see you guys on the flip side.